What's up everybody, I'm IGP and welcome back to House Flipper. I know you guys have been waiting in great anticipation for the IGP to show off his mastery of the art of flipping houses. Now some of you had some shit to say in the last episode, and to you I say fuck you. Nah, I'm just kidding. But what you did say really did hurt the, the core and the essence of my being because I pride myself on my house flipping capabilities. It is something I've been striving for my entire life. It is what I wanted to be when I grew up, but I never got that chance. But now I get to experience it vicariously through this amazing house flipper game. And what do I get in return? I get hatred. I get talked down to as if I'm a peasant of the house flipping community. And I am here to show you that I am not. I am here to show you that I can flip houses so well that I could just profit by looking at houses. That I could clean up garages and make 600k. This is all how I work. I am so next level meta in the house flipping business that you don't even know how it works. So that's what we're going to be doing today. This isn't a joke. I know everyone thinks that I'm, I'm I'm making a joke right now, but your comments in the last episode really hurt my feelings. I am devastated. Anyway, so if you still are enjoying the series, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. And let's begin. Now, I mentioned cleaning up a garage for 600k. You guys told me that this level that I'm at right now is apparently the last level and that I will earn 600k for doing it by Max Johnson says hello I need more space into my garage for a new car please throw out all trashes and clean up garage now if this is true we'll have enough money to buy anything oh my god that is way too look at this mess dude oh it's Jesse Pinkman cool all right let's pick up some trash wow 16k huh for a few boxes? Okay, you guys were not lying. I believe you now. Holy crap. Are you kidding me? I thought my method was good. I mean, my methods are usually the best uh, when it comes to house flipping because I actually know what I'm doing. But this is pretty good. I love this. This is here for us to be able to buy all the houses without having to grind because maybe the game doesn't want us to have to do that over and 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 over. We're at 130k. That's a bit ridiculous. I mean, you're paying me that much money to pick up this trash do you understand all right got all the trash now we're just gonna clean up wow that's fast that is fast dude 300k so far man this is ridiculous what a waste of money yay we completed the order at 370k still got a lot to do though i want 100 i want 100 percent on this holy crap your car is disgusting how did this even happen You'd imagine if you're paying me this much money, you probably already have a maid cleaning all this up. That's kind of weird that you would let this garage get to this condition, man. And you're trying to bring a brand new vehicle in here. What kind of vehicle is it? Is it a Porsche? I want a Porsche. Give me a Porsche instead. I don't want your money. I want a Porsche. Or a Porsche, as the fancy people say. There we go. 100%. Uh, $561,000. Jesus Lord. Can we go back to that? Can I get some more money? 666, dude. Can we go back to that? Please tell me we can go back to that. Dang it. We can't? Give me some money. Oh, wait, no. We can. What? Hell, why are you up there? Oh, let's go, dude. I'm going to go in the other door. That's, that's too much. I think I make the most money just picking up trash, man. It's ridiculous. 280K for picking up trash, dude. I didn't even get all of it. Where's the other one? Jesus Christ. 280k. Oh, did I abort? Oh, wait, I have... That's right. I'm, I'm an... I'm an... I'm an... I'm an idiot. It's totally fine. We're gonna go down here. We're gonna buy the biggest house, and let's destroy. Actually, these are the same price, so I'm going to destroy this one. All right, well, uh... It's a nice house. Let's get started, dude. All right, so we're gonna knock down this. We're gonna knock down... Uh, can I break a chair? Oh, we can bust the chairs, dude. Doesn't seem like it's doing anything to the value, which is fine, I guess. But let's do the walls. Let's just bust down all the walls. Have a completely open floor plan. Oh, yeah. That's that's good stuff right there. Oh, yeah. That sound. Ooh, music to my ears. Just getting that anger out, dude. Just, ugh, just mm, thinking about all those comments. Ugh, just all those uptight people who think they know about house flipping. Is this devaluing the house? I don't even know anymore. Do I even care if I lose this? Oh, no. No, we can't do the frame. That's stupid. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, just fall down. It's all good. Great guy. I don't even know how some of this stuff is stuck up on the wall. This makes no sense. Open floor plan. Can we hit the ground? How do I remove, like, tiles? I guess I can't. 
There we go. And can we knock down the door now or what? Oh, we can. Get out of here. This is like unbelievably satisfying right now. I have no idea why. Oh God. I knocked that door right over. All right, you know what? Let's just save us some time. Get rid of all that. Ooh, splitting off. Let's get rid of all these doors because we're gonna have to take down all the walls. Just completely empty this out. What in the hell is this? Are you supposed to be there? Now, realistically, I, th there would be so much freaking brick to pick up. It's ridiculous. Also, how does someone paint brick that smooth? Oh, uh, yeah, you see this? Already looking better. What the hell is all this? Oh, can I put a floating radiator here? Let's go. Oh, my God, I can. Oh, wait, what is that? No, not there, idiot. <laughs> this looks pretty awesome. Can I get rid of the stairs? Dang it. The, uh, there are certain items in here that you can't tear down. Uh, obviously you can't tear down the outer walls or the stairs, which again is like the worst. I wanted to tear down the whole building, but what are you going to do? <laughs> Let me zoom in on my map real quick. Oh yeah. That's an open floor plan. Look at that. Look at what the hell. All right, let's go upstairs. What do you got up here? Stuff for me to sell, huh? Oh yeah. Just putting it in a bank. I wonder if I can decrease the value of this house down to zero. How amazing would that be? What would I have to do to make that happen? I mean, I guess the, the real estate itself, you know, the where it's located would, would likely dictate that. But if I make it look super ugly, wouldn't you think that maybe it like would decrease in value? Wow, it's nighttime. Look at that. I actually n did not pay attention to uh, the time of day. That's pretty cool. Destroyed almost all the walls. The value of the house has not changed. It has not gone down. Well, a little bit for me uh, selling stuff, but other than that, this thing can only go up, dude. You can do whatever you want to this house. I I'm not clicking or anything, but my finger actually still hurts from holding this down. <laughs> I don't know why, but it does. Uh, why did I take on this task? Ah, uh, this looks cool, though. I gotta say, this is pretty dope. I love the open floor plan. Great. Now I have more walls. Actually, this is not that bad. Not that. Oh, I got to sell it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sell it, sell it, sell it. All right. I think I'm done. This looks like a Minecraft house. Well, that's very cool, man. So this is what it looks like when it's completely hollowed out. Yeah, that's, uh, that's so interesting. You know what would be really weird? Is if I filled this up with, with just brick. Like if I filled up the entire place, can I do that though? Let, let, me, let me just see if it adds a value. Does it add value? It does not add value. I'm just wondering if I could fill this entire place up with brick. Can I do it? That would be amazing. So as you can guess, this is quite difficult. I filled in as much as I could on the perimeter and left this door open so I can walk around and see that every window down here has a brick wall in front of it. I don't know why this is important, but I feel I must do it. Well, look at this. You can actually build outside too. Isn't that nice? By the way, if you're wondering what the point of this episode is, there is no point. But look, I can climb it up like stairs and I can not get across. But maybe, maybe. Let's see if I can open this window. Oh my God, did I do it? I did. Holy crap. Oh wait, no way. <laughs> I can stack stuff? Dude, this is amazing. Hold on. I gotta be able to get, I gotta be able to get up. Yeah. Oh no. No, I had it. I had it. There we go. Okay. So can I get something, uh, like a table? Maybe this? Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. This is what I'm talking about. Can I get on top? Uh, almost. Okay. Hang on a second, guys. We're going to get on the roof. I'm telling you. <gasps> yes. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. Can I get on the roof? <gasps> yes! <laughs> we made it to the roof. I don't know how this works, but it's physics, dude. I'm in the middle of trying to tear down this house and it didn't work out so well. So instead, I'm getting on the roof. Can we build more stuff up here, dude? Oh my goodness. We can stack stuff. We could live on the roof. That's amazing. All right, I'm going to see if I can jump out of bounds. Let's see. Three, two, one, jump. Oh, there's no way. There's no way. There we go. Okay. Let's see if I can actually, I can probably just run off this and then, yeah, no, oh, are you kidding me? All right. So right here would be the next step up. <laughs> this is so stupid. Whoop, I'm up. Oh, no. 
Dang it. Okay. Step by step, right? All right, I'm on the sack. <laughs> the sacco seems to be a good, uh, balanced... No, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna need another bookshelf. This thing should be good, right? Yeah, there we go. Still a wall. <laughs> oh my god. Why am I doing this? This has nothing to do with house flipper. Okay, so we go back to chairs. The sack hole should be good to get on. Next one is the bookcase. Or the shoe cabinet. I keep saying bookcase, but it's a shoe cabinet. I'm gonna stay on the sack hole. And then put this bad boy in. Right there. There we go. And now we can get on top. <laughs> Jesus. Oh no! I fell. <laughs> I don't want to fall. <laughs> Look at this. Can I climb this again? Is this possible? Oh, I could just pick it up and then... Oh, that's so smart. I could literally just pick this up. Okay, so now we're on the roof. Then we can jump over here. Jump to this one. Jump to this one. Uh, can we get on Sacco? Yes. Okay, perfect. Sacco? Okay, we're back up. We're back up. The only problem is this is too far away to kind of like try and, and juke this. Uh, okay. I'm on. I'm on. Buy this guy. Put it right here. Then buy this guy and put it right here. Uh oh, I might be hitting the ceiling. No way. Oh, no. God dang it. All right. Well, I believe I hit the ceiling of that. So I don't think I can get any higher than that. But there's your method. I've been doing this for 85 minutes now, apparently. Oh, it's so fun. And I know by now in the video, a lot of you guys are just bitching and whining about how- Look, I destroyed the entire house and I only lost six grand. That's amazing. But everyone's bitching and whining and complaining and bitching and whining and complaining and bitching and moaning about how I'm not flipping houses. Well, let me show you my, let me show you how to flip a house. I'll show you how to flip a house. Let's go. Let's do, uh, let's do the bungalow OH1. All right, so first things first, in order to flip a house properly, you got to take care of all the tasks that are assigned to you, which apparently are not, uh, I can sell the house immediately. Okay, never mind. All right, so the house value is $84,149.11. Let's spruce this up just a bit. Uh, there are no moldy walls. Everything looks pretty good. So we just need to add some furniture, right? We need to, we need to replace some things. Let's see. Let's see how much this is worth. This is worth $92.28. I think we can do better in terms of a table. Uh, so I'm going to sell it and then buy a table that's just a little bit more expensive. I don't know if I'll be able to scoot this. That's fine. Just put it right there. Excellent. Now, if we go to sell house, we make 64 bucks in profit. Now you may be wondering, that's kind of weird because uh, that doesn't seem, that seems like the exact amount. Well, you would be right in saying so. That pretty much is the exact same amount. Let me go and change this electrical box real quick because <laughs> those things can be, those things are a little bit troublesome. All right, so let's, let's, let's take a look at something. Let, let, let me show you this. So we're going to paint this room. I think a light blue would look pretty damn good. Now this costs $19.35, right? And if we take note, 255.70 should be $75 and what five cents of value increase, right? Okay, so we gain a penny. We gained an extra penny from the paint. Now, the interesting thing about the paint is no matter how much we paint, the value doesn't go up. It actually only goes up when you buy the paint bucket. That sucks though, but we can still paint this whole thing to make it look nice and maybe, maybe the game will credit us in the end. All right, so we're out of paint. I got to go ahead and dispose this thing. Oh, the, the value went back down. Hmm. That's really strange. So I just spent money painting by $20 worth of paint, used all of it on the room, it had to get rid of the trash, and when that happens, the value goes back to what it originally was, which means that I made zero profit. In fact, by doing all this extra painting, I just lost $20. Weird, right? But that's not going to stop me. We're still going to paint the entire room. All right. Well, I have painted every piece in this room and it looks, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty damn good, right? But the price doesn't change. In fact, it hasn't changed at all. And I even painted the walls that weren't supposed to actually be painted like these back here. Not supposed to really do that, but I did anyway, just to make sure that it wasn't like a completion type 
increase. So basically, nothing happened. Weird. All right, so the radiator increases it to 330 cents. And that is the exact price of the radiator itself. So let's see if maybe completing it will add some value. All right, we got $42 for that. Awesome for completing that task. All right, so let, let me put the couch back. I know I know what's, I know what's wrong here. The problem is, is that there's no TV in this entire place. So I'm going to put a TV. Actually, I'm going to put a TV stand. Let me see where I'm at. 342.37, huh? All right, so 128 bucks, 182, right? Bam, right? And I could sell it for the same exact price, or 128, sorry, not 182. Yeah, 128 is how much I could sell it back for, and it goes back to 342.37. So I'll let you guys do that math if you really want to do that math, but it's the exact same price. We added a, a something that, that would be great. Let's add a TV. Can we add a TV? Is that is that going to be here, actually? I don't even know if domestic appliance, television, no. I don't remember there being televisions in this, actually, now that I think about it. Device, oh, microwave oven. We could use that as a television. You know what the problem is? Is that we just need a good picture of $53.01, $53, so that should be $524, right? Oh no, what is that? <laughs> what is that price? Interesting, sell house, how much profit am I gonna make? $375 for me completing tasks, for me completing tasks. It doesn't matter how much I flip this house, no matter what I add to it and make it look beautiful, I will make a minimal profit because that's just not how it works in this game. So if you're wondering why I'm goofing around in this game, I'm actually having fun in the game because I love breaking games. But if you're wondering why I'm not doing the tasks of flipping houses, it's because it's not fully there yet. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, whatever you can get out of it. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section below what you would like to see in the next one. I love you all, and I'll see you around. Bye-bye.